My name's Gary, uh, I'm an instructor for Simeon and we've put together a simple video um, to show the installation of a tie and how we do a pull test on the tie. The need to stabilise a scaffold is a requirement under CDM regulations and the work at height regulations. So to make sure the installation of a scaffold tie is done properly, we have to refer back to TG4 and make sure whoever is installing the ties is competent to do so and has followed the guidelines set out in TG4. This contains a comprehensive level of detail which includes anchor selection. So have you got the right anchor for the tie you're installing? An installation guide for different types of anchor. The method of connecting to your scaffold and the anchor and the fittings that are used to connect to the anchor from the scaffold. The base material and the suitability of the structure that we will be anchoring into. The loads involved, so this information can be obtained from TG20 and for system scaffolds as well. You would need manufacturer's instructions or a design engineer's drawing. The requirements for testing, this includes preliminary and proof testing. It's imperative that a risk assessment is carried out when installing anchor ties. There are two elements to this, one being an occupational health side of things and another would be the safety aspects. Looking at the safety hazards, you would have to assess the environment in which you're working in and any safe use of hand tools, in this case, would be a rotary impact drill. Also, as part of the risk assessment, we should consider eye protection. If the drill isn't fitted with dust extraction, it's imperative that respiratory protection is used. This might be a dust mask that has been fitted and meets the appropriate standards. Manufacturer's instructions will provide details of suitability for the materials, the drill size, and the embedment depth. In some circumstances, preliminary testing may be required to establish suitability of the anchor for the base material. Site tests are needed for two purposes. The first one being the preliminary tests. They're used to check the suitability and particular fixings in the base material and the allowable loads. And then proof testings are needed to check the quality of the installation once the anchor has been chosen and installed. Once we've drilled to the correct embedment depth, it's important that we blow out all dust to ensure that the anchor is fitted correctly. Again, whilst doing this, it's important that respiratory protection is worn. It's important when installing the anchor that it's done in the correct way. With the expansion anchor, this must be hit with the punch tool until it's seated correctly. So now we're gonna show you how to test an anchor with the HydroJaws M2000 scaffold tie tester kit. So this is a great bit of kit. It works on Bluetooth and transfers all data from the test direct to an app on your phone which can then be transferred to the customer. Before using any specialist piece of kit, we must make sure that we've read and understood the manufacturer's instructions. Get the pull tester and select the correct attachment for the tie being tested. 
attach this to the anchor tie. and level the machine off before testing. And then apply the correct amount of load for the test needed. In this case, the anchor was tested to 7.6 kilonewtons. Once the load has been applied to the anchor, the anchor should then be observed for any significant movement. If there is no significant movement of the anchor, this can then be considered as a pass. So this has been a brief guide on tie installation and testing. For further information, reference should be made to TG4 and manufacturer's instructions.